Welcome to the Synesthesia Quick Start Guide. After installing Synesthesia, log into your account or create one if you haven't already. The first thing you want to do is set up your audio device. Click on the settings icon on the left hand side, go to audio device, select your microphone and start playing music to get started. One of Synesthesia's key features is an engine that uses audio data to intelligently manipulate the shaders along to the music. Over on the right hand side, below the scene preview, you can check your performance. This shows the current FPS and a useful audio input meter. Use this to ensure that your computer is rendering at a reasonable FPS, 60 is perfect, and that your audio signal is in the green, not coming in too low, which would be red, or too high, which would be yellow. If at any point you are getting low FPS, consider lowering the resolution in settings. To activate Synesthesia, click on the user icon in the bottom left of your screen, and if you have an available license, you can click on the Activate button to unlock basic or pro features. Try clicking on a few scenes to find one you like. You can access the scene library in the top left of your screen. Click on the plus sign to add the scene to your current playlist. Visual output and the scene controls should change when you click on a new scene. Most scenes will animate to audio automatically. But if no audio or a very low signal is coming in, the scene may be dim and inactive. Try changing the scene controls. Each scene has a unique set of scene controls to learn and master. These are buttons, sliders, and other interactions that let you influence the visual output. Try changing the meta controls, which can be found directly below the scene controls. The meta controls are always there no matter what scene you're running giving you a consistent way to tweak how any scene looks during your show. Now let's set up Synesthesia to load your own media. You can tell Synesthesia to load folders of media, which can be JPEG, PNG, MP4, or MOV, by setting one or more media folders in the Settings tab. Once your media is loaded, you can select it and incorporate it in any Synesthesia scene by clicking on it in the Media panel. To view Synesthesia's output in full screen, select a display under Graphics and Settings, and then click Toggle Full Screen. You can hit Escape to exit full screen. To use with a projector, make sure you turn off mirror displays in your computer's display settings. If you want to use a MIDI device and map some controls, first check whether your MIDI device shows up in the Devices tab of the MIDI panel. Then click on the blue Click Here to Map button to enable mapping mode. Click on a control that you'd like to map, and then do the same on your device. If you'd like to add more to your scene library, consider checking out the Synesthesia Marketplace, which can be accessed from directly inside the program in the bottom left of your screen. Here you can purchase scenes from shader artists in the community. Each scene comes with its own preview to test before you make your purchase. That's all for today's video. In the description, you'll find a link to our FAQ page. Be sure to follow our social media pages and join our Discord to stay updated with the latest of Synesthesia. Let us know what you think in the comments below.